Hello Steamers, now that you have installed our factor, played it for a little bit, and I'm sure you're dying to try out the hundreds if not thousands of cars and tracks that are available for the game. Let's walk you through the process on how to go about doing that. Let's begin. First thing you're going to need to do is find your R Factor folder inside Steam. The default location I think is Program Files or Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, R Factor. I installed my Steam into a secondary drive, so that's why it says E. Uh, but once you find your R Factor folder, you will find these lovely folders, and I will go into a few of them here in one second. Now, over here, I have downloaded a track and a, and a mod, cars, and you'll see one is in a WinRAR format, which you need WinRAR or I think 7-zip opens, opens RAR files. Sometimes they'll be in zips, or you'll find them in an EXE. Now with the track, all tracks will go to your locations folder, which you'll find that in your game data locations. Since this is a RAR file, you will see that all I have to do is just grab it and drop it. Now I have it properly in there. Let's click back, and then with the EXE, now, uh, most EXEs are designed for normal R factor. Since Steam's new, no one's ever necessarily created an EXE for a Steam installation. So when you click Next, you'll see Program Files x86. Uh, since I made this, I have this pointing to where normally where R factor is installed. So it's going to look for the R factor folder uh, and install from there. So let's go ahead and change that. Go down to E, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. When you look at Common, there's the R Factor, so I'll go ahead and click OK. Click Next and Start. Alright, now it's done. Now you can go in game and check, but you can also, uh, I know this is the UK some dwarf cars, uh, all mods have. Uh, an RFM associated with it, which is here, UK Sum Dwarf Cars. Now you can go in game now, click play. You'll see. Yeah, go to your. Normally, if it's a new mod, it'll be the first thing up. Say so UK Sum Dwarf Cars. Let's go. Pick a vehicle. Alright, there you go. Get out here. Testing. Name. Stadium. And there you have it. Now, I have found one issue through the years is that there's not a uniform way of creating an installer. Everybody has their own rhyme or reason behind doing it. Uh, sometimes when you find a track, we'll do this, uh, you'll open it up, the RAR file, and it will look like this. Which is fine, except sometimes people will either RAR up the wrong subfolders, or the EXE will not point it in the, the correct direction, or they'll miss a file. So you'll have loose files everywhere. So I highly suggest that you, to you get comfortable doing this, is to create a folder on my, you know, this is a export folder for Macs for me, but I use this to, you know, just go ahead and extract that to it. And even with the mods, uh, I highly recommend dragging and dropping the mods. So let's do this. that there. All right, we're finished. Let's click on here. Now you can see there's my Bowman Gray that I can just drag to my locations folder. And now for the mod, you see there's my RFM folder. And same thing before, you just 
Grab them, drop them. Yeah, I know they're there. And we'll go to game data. You can see the mod comes with sounds, comes with the vehicle folder. Click there, there's the UK sum. At this point, it, normally it's safe that you can just grab these two and drop them in. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, you know what, let's just do that. And it's already installed, that's why it's doing that. Uh, that way, if the, some mod groups have huge intro videos uh, that take up gobs of space, uh, when you fire up R Factor, you have the R Factor intro video. Well, it'll replace that when their mod is loaded, and it'll have their intro video, which is great to watch once. Second go around, it gets kind of old. Uh, so those videos are housed in the movie files, and as you can see, I've already deleted all mine. Um, if the mod comes with, uh, you know, a movie files folder, that's where I suggest on dropping everything in by hand. Uh, you know, normally it's all put together correctly, you know, sound vehicles. Uh, some of the mods will come with helmets, some of the mods will come with talent files. Uh, few I've seen with nations, those are the flags, but I highly, highly recommend. I would say, especially with mods, uh, install into a folder and then dragging them over just to make sure everything's in the correct location. Because I have been in numerous people's R Factors folders through the years, and I will find a locations folder here, a locations folder here, and then the mods inside that locations folder. Uh, because the original installer or the person installed them you know, got click happy or just installed them to the wrong location. Now, once everything's installed, you can fire up R Factor and enjoy the new cars and tracks you just downloaded. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.